Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So, in the previous lecture we have introduced uh, the started with the four subspaces uh, connected with the given matrix of order m cross n and we have discussed about the range space of the matrix and its transpose. So, in this lecture we will continue with that one. So, in the previous lecture we have discussed that suppose we have a matrix A that is of order m cross n and then from here we can define a linear function that is A x that is m cross n and this is a vector coming from n cross 1 and suppose this is after getting this value it is becoming m cross 1. So, it is a map from so A we can define a map a linear map from R n to R m because my function x is belongs to R m. And then we have discussed that the range space of the matrix A it is is a subspace of R m and the range space of A transpose is a subspace of R n. So, this one we have discussed and now, so after discussing these two things we want to go further and we want to find out what will happen if we have a equal range. So, in this case suppose we have for two matrices A and B of the same shape, same shape means that should be of the same order then the first is that the range space of A transpose is equal to the range space of B transpose and this is possible if and only if A is rho equivalent to B. So, that means rho equivalent it means by taking the elementary row operation we should be able start from A and we should be able to get the B then it is called the row equivalent matrices. Second one is then the range space of A is equal to range space of B if and only if A is column equivalent to B. So, it is the column equivalent means in this case we are taking only the column operation and map transforming from A to B by the elementary column operation. So, this is the column. So, this is because why we are doing this one because in this case suppose we have two matrices and one matrix is rho equivalent to the another matrices then they are going to find going to produce the same range space of A transpose is equal to range space of B transpose and range space of A will be the range space of B. So, these things you have to keep in mind and now we know that since we know that that if I from the theory of rho echelon form we are always transferring the matrix A into some matrix U by the transformation P. So, where this is a rho equivalent form. So, then we say that A is rho equivalent to the matrix U and where P is a non singular matrix. 
So, P is basically made up of all the elementary operations that we multiply pre multiply the matrix A. So, this will be more clear in the example. So, from here we know that A and U is row equivalent and from there also we can say that the rank of A is equal to the rank of U. So, that we already know. So, now if you see very sincerely from here that when we start starting from the A, then we always take the linear combination, some linear combination of the, the rows of the matrix A and then after doing this linear combination, we get U. So, from here one thing we can see that U the rows of U are basically made from the linear combination, some linear combination of the rows of A. So, that is why we are able to discuss these things for range space of A transform, A transpose is equal to range space of B transpose. Now, we know we know that that the range space of A transpose is span by non zero rows span by the non zero rows by span by span by rows corresponding to non zero rows in u it means we start with a transform into u by some elementary row operation p and in this u whenever we have a u and in this whatever the non zero rows are there so the corresponding non zero rows i will find out the rows in a so that will be so th these rows will span the range set of A transpose. Okay, so, these things is there. So, let us uh, prove this one, the first one. So, we only prove the first one, the second one will follow the same. So, proof for first one. So, let A is a row equivalent to B implies there exists a non singular matrix p such that p a is equal to b so this is given to me and from there i can find p a is equal to b now let i take some vector y belongs to the range space of A T. So, which implies that there exist some x such that A transpose x is equal to y because y is belonging to the range space of this one. For some x I will get this value. You know that this A is m cross n matrix then a transpose will be n cross m so this x will coming from rm and this y is coming from rn now so this one is there so from here you can find that i just take the transpose so, I can write x transpose A is equal to y transpose, just taking the transpose of this one. And now from here, I can write from here that y transpose is equal to x transpose A and A is already there. So, I can write this as a x transpose and A instead of A, I can write P inverse P A. 
because P is a non singular matrix. So, P inverse P will be identity matrix and from there I will write X transpose P inverse P A and P A is equal to B from the. So, from here I can write one vector Z transpose and then it is write by B where Z transpose I am taking X transpose P inverse. So, it is the the new vector we are introducing Z transform. So, this is vector that is coming from X transform transpose P inverse and from here you will see that. The, so, from here you can say that my Y T is becoming Z T B or I can say that my Y become B transpose Z. So, that show that Y belongs to the range space of P transpose. Okay, so, from here I started with a vector from the range space of A transform and I showed that the same vector belongs to the range space of B transform. So, the same way I can go I can take from Y and then moving the same way in the opposite direction and I can from here I can go back the same way and from there I can show that the Y will belongs to the the range space of A transform. So, from here that first is ok that A is rho equivalent to B then we have showed that the range space of R A T is equal to the range space of B T that will be same. Now, so this is uh, converse is also true. So, similar things can be proved for column for the columns transformation and that is we can prove for the second one. So, now based on this one we are able to say that if the two matrices are rho equivalent then the range space of A transpose is equal to the range space of B transpose and so similar things can be proved for a column transformation which implies that the range space of A will be same as the range space of B if and only if A is column equivalent to B. So, this is the way we can do just we can take the transformation also of A transpose and B transpose and then we can do the row operation the similar things will come. So, this is the proof we can have. So, after this one there is a one more so one note that two sets suppose I take two sets a 1, a 2, a n or maybe I should take r to set this and suppose I take the another b 1, b 2, b s that belongs to r n. So, I am taking the r number of vectors here and s number of vectors here if that is lying in the n r that span the same subspace if and only if the non zeros rows of E A. So, E A I am writing here. So, what is the E A? It is reduced row 
produced rho echelon form of A. So, if the non zero rows of E A agree, agree means same with the non zero rows of E B. So, that is the reduce row echelon form of B, where A and B are the matrices containing A i's and B i's as rows. So, can span the same subspace if and only if non zero rows of this agree with the non zero rows of this when A and B are the matrices containing A i's and B i's as rows. So, it means what is the meaning of this? It means that I will take a matrix A and this will be A 1, A 2, A r. So, I will take this as a row and another matrix I will take B and that will be B 1, B 2, B s. So, it contains s number of rows. Then I will transform A into E A by elementary row operations B I will transform into E B. So, that is also row equivalent elementary row operations then it says that if E A is equal to E B, if you know non zero rows. So, it talking about only non zero rows. So, if non zero rows of E A is equal to non zero rows of E B, then then the, they will span the then the span of a 1, a 2 up to a r will be same as span of b 1, b 2 up to b s. So, that is our. So, these things is we will take one example, but here we can just do the proof. So, proof is very easy because just we have to take that. So, the span of A 1, A 2, A r is equal to span of B 1, B 2, B s. Now, suppose it is we suppose we have a span of this is equal to span of this. So, definitely it implies that each A i can be written as linear combination of B i's, because the range span of this one is basically contains all A 1, A 2, A r and that also contain B 1, B 2, B r. So, each of A i's can be written as a linear combination of B i's. Similarly, each of B i can be written as linear combination of A i's, because that we have taken and from there I can say that the range space A of A trans transpose will definitely equal to the B transpose 
and if it is there then this will also converse it okay so these things we can check easily so let's to take one example and then the things will be more clear to you now suppose i take the example so let's i take the matrix a suppose i take first this matrix 1 2 1 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now this is a 3 cross 4 matrix so a is a transformation from r4 to r3 and it is a linear transformation or linear function then now i will convert the a into the row equivalent form so first i will convert this into the row equivalent form and then from this one i will convert to ea that is reduced row equivalent form and this is a equivalent form row equivalent form okay so from here now this is there so from the a what i do i take minus 3 r1 and add to r2 and i take minus 2 r1 and add to r3 <coughs> just to make this element zero because this is the pivot element now if you see from here i am taking linear combination of r1 and r2 here i am taking the linear combination of r1 and r3 this one and i get this matrix from here that is 1 2 1 1 and this is 0 so because i am multiplying by minus 3 so minus 3 plus 3 0 minus 3 into so it will be again 0 this will be also 0 and this will be minus 3 plus 4 it will be 1 now minus 2 2 0 so it will be 0 0 0 0 okay so in this case now you can see that this is my pivot element and next pivot element is this one so from here i can say that so you can see from here that i get a step like matrix and this is my u so that is a row echelon form and from here i can also say that the rank of a is equal to 2 and that is equal to number of non zero rows now from u so this is my u 1 2 1 1 and where in the columns where this pivot elements occurring so it is pivots so this is called this and this is called basic columns where the pivot element is appearing so in this uh, row equivalent form so i get this one 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 now this is my pivot element this and this so i have to make this element zero to make zero so what i do is that i will just minus r2 plus r1 
So, in this case also I am taking the linear combination of the second row and the first row and I will get this matrix. So, it is 0 nothing will change 1 2 1 I will multiply by minus 1 and adding here. So, it will be 0 and this is 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0. So, here this is the pivot element and this is the pivot element. So, all other elements in that pivot ele column are 0 here also it is 0. So, this become E A and this E A is called reduced row echelon form. Why it is called reduced? Because the number of elements are reduced, non-zero elements are reduced in the given echelon form. So, that is why it is called the reduced row echelon form. So, this is my E A. So, now from here I can say that the number of non-zero rows are 2. This is the non-zero row and this is the non-zero row. So, this is non-zero and this is non-zero. Okay, so, from here I can say that the range space of A transpose, if we take the range space, so it is span by the non-zero rows corresponding to non-zero row. So, it is 1, 2, 1, 1, 1 vector this one, first row and the second row 3, 6, 3, 4 this one. Now, it is a span of this one and from here I, I can also say that it is also span by 1, 2, 1, 1 and 0, 0, 0. Because if you see from here, then you will come to know that this vector, the last vector is coming by taking the linear combination of these two vector. First vector is same, this and this is same. So, we take the linear combination of these two vector, whatever the I have taken, I have taken this linear combination, then I go to the second one. So, second one is here. So, this linear combination I have taken and I got this one. So, it basically the linear combination of these also contain this vector and also from here also the rows, the non-zero rows non-zero rows are linearly independent. So, basically these and these two vectors are ally and also these and these two vectors are also ally and this vector is a linear combination of these two vector. So, from here very easily we can check that the span of this vector is same as the span of this vector and from here I can also say that the dimension of range space of A transpose. So, that is the dimension of the range space of A transpose. So, that is equal to the number of known this uh, uh, linearly independent vector appeared in this one. So, that is equal to 2 and that is equal to the rank of matrix A. So, that is equal to the rank of the matrix. So, from here we can say that the dimension of R A transpose is equal to the rank of A. This one. Okay, so, based on this one we are able to And this can also be written as also we can check that 
range space of A transpose is same as the range space of E A transpose because the matrix A is rho equivalent to E A because E A is coming by taking the elementary rho operation. So, that is coming from here and just now we have done one theorem in the starting one that first one. So, it shows that if A is rho equivalent to B then there the range span by the rows is same. So, this the these things we can implement here from this one. And that we have also seen that how the vectors of E A are coming by taking the linear combination of the column uh, uh, the range the rows of E A are coming from the taking the linear combination of the rows of A. And we also checked that the rank is same and their dimension is 2. So, that also we can see from here. Okay, so, so, we stop here today. So, in the today lecture we have discussed that if the two matrices A and B they are rho equivalent then the range space of A transpose is equal to the range space of B transpose and if they are column equivalent then the range space of A will be same as the range space of B and then we have discussed one example based on that. So, in the next lecture we will continue with this one. So, thanks for watching, thanks very much. Thank you.